What happens if Among Us crashes into Minecraft? Let's find out. Drop Among Us! Oh! The sculpture from Among Us has smashed into this Minecraft Earth. And over the next 10 days, the imposter is going to be able to feed on everything living inside this Minecraft world. Watch until the end to see if anything actually survives. Day one and damn! Look at the skeleton ship. It's just sticking out of the ground. These damn sneaky villagers bet they're gonna salvage parts from the ship for their own self gain. Oh, bruh! Well, what do you know? They're going in to rescue the crewmates. Wow, now they're helping them get medical attention? This is kind of out of character for these scummy villagers. Whoa, what was that? Y'all hear that? Oh, bruh! There's been a murder! What I say? I knew these villagers were up to no good. <laughs> I knew it! See? The villagers took apart the skeleton and they're using the parts to upgrade their own structures. Damn! Now the village is all electrically powered by this electrical room. Now they've got the whole weapons room set up too? And what does this do? Yo! Is that a force field shield around the entire village? Hey, they even upgraded the medical center. Look at this. It's like a whole futuristic hospital now. And what's this? Wow, they even got a med bay scanner. From the looks of it, the skeld crashing into Minecraft has been nothing but good for these villagers. Yo, 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 yo. What's this? It's a bulletin board of missing villagers. This seems like a problem. Day three and yo, look at that. The pile of missing villagers really stacked up. I wonder why nothing's been done about this yet, though. No way! So the villager leader is purposely ignoring the missing people because he doesn't want to anger the crewmates. Ah. True! I guess the crewmates are responsible for all the advancements that are making the villagers' lives so much better. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on out here? It's like some kind of protest. Oh, damn! So apparently a child's gone missing. Uh-oh, looks like our guy has to do something about this. He's having all the crewmates testify publicly that they're not involved with the missing villagers. Ha, ha, ha. Hold up, hold up. This one crewmate story doesn't add up. Basically, when the first crewmate was killed, the black crewmate was last seen in that medical area right before. Plus, he was also the latest to show up in this town hall meeting. And his reasoning was that he was investigating the missing villager child. Day four and... <laughs> Looks like Black didn't make a good case because they put him in prison with 24-7 surveillance. I guess with this setup, there's no way that anybody else should go missing, right? Uh, what just happened to the lights? Yo, yo, yo! What? What just happened? Damn, the entire village is locked down with martial law. Nobody's allowed to go outside and the military are patrolling the streets 24-7. This is a bit extreme, but I guess everyone should finally be safe. Yo, 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 what was that? It came from this house. Oh, Bruh. that's brutal. It got this entire family. Day five and the villager king has no choice left. He's got to lock all the crewmates up inside the jail. Whether they're innocent or not, all these problems started after they showed up. Damn! But it looks like it sparked a protest outside. Some of the villagers think that it's unethical to lock up the crewmates without any evidence. But there's another protest group that's protesting them. They're saying that they gotta do whatever it takes to stop the murders. Uh-oh. Looks like someone cut out the power again. Yo, chill, chill. Is everyone good? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, true. Let's check inside the prison. Oh, Bruh. they're all dead this time. Quick, look. Something's getting away through the vents. I got it. Day six, and I'm more confused than ever. There are more missing villagers than before. Plus, we got these nerds in the lab hard at work trying to figure out exactly what this alien thing is. You guys got anything? Ah. No ah. way. So basically, originally, Black was the imposter, but it was because he was infected by this alien. This alien infects a host, and every time the host kills, the alien multiplies. So by now, 
Who knows which one of the villagers have been infected and which ones haven't? Day seven and damn! Looks like they even gave their med base scanner some upgrades. Yo, what? So the king is forcing all the villagers to go through the med base scanner to see who's infected and who isn't? And if they're infected... Oh, shit! That's brutal! Oh! People are mad! I don't know how they're gonna get everyone to agree to this. Oh, that's how. Day 8 and most of the infected have been killed, either by the med bay incinerator or by the king's military. But somehow the list of missing villagers is still growing. How is that possible? Ah, I see. So some of the healthy villagers are hiding other villagers in their basements. If a bunch of these homes are all hiding infected villagers in their basements, they'll never get rid of this alien. But at the same time, killing innocent villagers just because they've been infected? That can't be right either. Nope. No way. Are you seeing this? The villager king has been infected too. Nah, yo, this ain't right. Day nine and oh, the villager king snapped. He's got his military rolling through all of the villager homes to snuff out anybody that's hiding. Doesn't even care about casualties. No, run, run. Uh oh, here comes the tank. No, no, no. Ow! Yo, 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 yo. What's happening? Alien's feeling threatened and it's activating some sort of hive mind. Yo! All of the infected villagers are fusing together. Aww, it's like one big infected villager family. Oh, 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 here it goes. Oh! So the alien imposter finally shows itself. Oh! The alien imposter's a savage. He's just steamrolling through these caves like it's nothing. Day 10 and... This is it, man. This is it for the villagers. They don't stand a chance against this mutant imposter. Oh, wow. Look at this place. It's really not what it used to be. Yo, 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 yo. What's happening here? Hey, the scientists created a cure. No way. They're arming it onto the tank missile. Oh, damn. I guess there goes their only shot. Hey, it's coming back. No way! It was a homing missile! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Did it work? Oh, it worked! The mutant imposter is turning back into all of the villagers. Oh, shit! There's the villager king! Uh-oh. They might have saved the infected, but they can't bring back all the dead. At this rate, the king killed more of his own people than the alien imposter did. This guy's got a lot of explaining to do. 